as so long as cute. these bits are filled, I'd, I'd say like a, a nice, a nice hairline. So my name's Matthew, I come from the northeast of England uh, in Middlesbrough. So I started um, looking for different hair transplant clinics in the UK, um, but I realised that they were quite expensive. So I started researching online and YouTube, there's quite a lot of good videos out there. A lot of people from the UK would recommend um, Turkey and that's how I got to find Hair of Istanbul, mainly due to a YouTuber, which I am like, I'm forgetting his name, but we'll put it in. He made a really, really good series of videos of her of Istanbul and gave um, very honest critique. So that's how I found her of Istanbul and their Instagram, it shows really, really good progress pictures from before and after. Um, and a lot of the same hairlines as mine. Mine would uh, sort of an island in the middle and went back quite far. So seeing the, the same hairline as mine and then the progression of, of hair growth was just um, really exciting and to have that sort of hair made me want to go with them. So my hair loss started at about 18 years old um, and it was a big blow to my, to my confidence. I lost quite a lot of self-esteem. I didn't go out as much um, because I would see everybody else with a you know, a clean hairline and I would feel just a little bit inferior. Um, so it was, it was a big toll on my mental health. And then when I found that hair transplantation was a thing, I got really excited and hopeful for um, having the hair that I used to have when I was, you know, 16. So from, from 18 to about 21, it all just, fell out. I remember being in the shower and running my hand through my hair and just hair being all over my hands. And it's a, it was a super difficult time. And I think for a lot of men out there, it's also very, very difficult because if you're the type of person like me who likes to have hair and likes to, you know, like play with it. And it's really, really hard when you, when it falls out, because I think that's part of your identity. And when your hair falls out, you lose your identity. But, for me anyway. So when I was around 24, I started really research hair transplantation, mainly the two types, so the FUE and the FUT, and the different clinics. And London was just way too expensive and found that it's way cheaper to go to Turkey, hotel included, and if all those things are just in a nice, neat package, for someone like me, it makes it a lot easier and a lot less panic inducing when things are laid out for you quite clearly. So when I researched and I found a community of people who had gone through it, a lot on YouTube and a lot on Reddit to realise it was quite a common thing, I just bit the bullet and I just, I thought why, why not, why, you know, spend my time um, looking at everybody else, wishing that I could have a hairline like them when I can and it is actually possible. And that brings us up to today, 26 and a nice new hairline, and we're good to go. So my advice for anyone who's, who's thinking about a hair transplant um, and is umming and ahhing and not really sure, I have been there. I have been there for three years. I was on my mind and I, I just could not decide whether to do it or whether to not do it. You should absolutely do it if the following things are in place. If you have the money, if you have um, the right support from family and friends um, and you find the right clinic. Um, you know, you can look on Instagram and you'll see um, fantastic photos, transformation before and after, but it doesn't necessarily tell you the, um, the aftercare and the, um, the hospitality. So for that, I would go off word of mouth. You can, you can rely on word of mouth more than reviews online. That's why YouTube is so good, because that's somebody's, you know, opinion. Word of mouth, virtually, 
and you can get a lot more out of that than, than text. So look around YouTube, you know, a, a clinic might be different for you. For me personally, Hair of Istanbul have been super, super hospitable from the moment I got here, you know, uh, picking me up from the airport, making me feel very comfortable and like a, a person listening to me and, um, you know, I felt um, very taken care of here. So find a clinic that's, that's right for you and in my own head about this, if you think that you're not, you're not worth it, you definitely are, right? I didn't think I was, I was worth the hair transplant. I was um, very anxious and I always thought, why oh, can't I be like my friend over there who's shaved his head and he doesn't care. Some of us are just not like that. Some of us want hair. Some of us like the feel of it. I really like liked the feel of it behind my ears. And I just want to say a massive thank you to all the staff um, at Hair of Istanbul that have all, yeah, just made me feel really welcome, really safe. Um, <laughs> for buying me joggers when I, when I only brought shorts and a vest. Um, if you're coming to Istanbul, do bring both. <laughs> um, yeah, just a massive thank you. I'm super happy. I'm, I'm really happy that I bit the bullet um, and overcame the anxiety. It's, it's a big decision. No one's denying that. It's, um, you know, a big call. It's not something to be, um, you know, uh, thought of like that. It, for me, it was a very long decision, like I say, around three years of, of researching and talking to people um, but yes yeah, so a massive thank you and I'll see you in one year when I've got a nice lovely head of hair and three girlfriends. <laughs>